What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Engineers Out Filters podcast. I'm your host, Jacob Thompson, and tonight I'm drinking an Atwater Brewery Vanilla Java Porter. Mmm, tasty. I'm Joseph, here with the Champagne of Beers, good old Miller High Life. I'm Gabe Toman, and I totally cut off Dayton. I'm uh, drinking a Ordock Brewing Company Reclamation IPA. And I'm Dayton, and I'm all out of beer, so I'm drinking <laughs> peppermint, hot, peppermint hot schnapps, which is... Hot chocolate with peppermint schnapps in it. Nice pour. On yeah, that. I hard poured. That was a lot well, of fun. Because here's what happened. Last night, I had a Languinitas IPA. I didn't pour it hard enough. Yeah. And then the the pour, I, know, I wasn't thinking, I'm going to hard pour this porter, and I have a huge head, and it's just not It is time. at least It's 60. half the mug. It's, it's two-thirds. It was two-thirds yeah. foam. It's okay. The best way to enjoy beer. Because here's the thing. I'm not going to be drinking for a while, because I'm going to be talking. Because I got a lot to say tonight. Apparently. On the EWF podcast. So right? Jacob is on a mission right now. <laughs> Alright, so quickly, so, you know, follow us on pop, on Instagram and Twitter. So excited. At EWF Podcast. <sighs> Doesn't I, matter, alright? Let's get into it. I don't know what we're getting into. Dude, no, you do you not. You guys are just like, heated. your you body left for an hour, and then you're like, I have so much to talk about. Your body is not ready for this, okay? Topic number one is people watching, okay? Alright, so you may or may not know, the members of the podcast have to go ice skating Every Sunday, all right. There's an open skate at Michigan Tech that we can all go to, and it's open to the public or whatever. Now, only only the podcast people are allowed. To no, yeah. yeah, we're the only ones that ever. <laughs> we make so, saying, for. They right. make so much money off of this. We just rent out the whole ice cream. <laughs> I say, yeah, we like to go. All right, we go every week usually. Yeah. Okay, usually. Now it's open to the public, so you see a lot of these these people here. There's a lot of little kids running around who are a little annoying that you know oh, run into you and stuff. All right, mm-hmm. lots of dates happen. Oh, at I'm the aware. ice rink. All right. Yeah. So now usually. Did all of you guys experience this? Like, just yes, so, like, we were the, all the there. listeners know, well, I, I was you're, studying. You're the odd man out. Yeah, I was yeah. studying, so I did not go, so I have not experienced so, this. But I know the regulars there. Yeah, you know. Joseph is with me on this, okay? Okay. Now, we not as of... heated, but I, I am on the same page as <laughs> All right. Now, when I go to these open skates, I like the people watch, often the dates, because I think the dynamics makes me really interesting. Now, most dates that happen, it's just a guy and a girl, and it's just by the books, holding the hands, you know, laughing, blah, blah, blah. Nothing too dramatic. Checking each other into the boards. Yeah. <laughs> Standard <laughs> stuff. Now, Slicing each other's calves. <laughs> where things get interesting is when it becomes more than two people involved. I'll give you an example. A few weeks ago, there was a girl there with two guys. All right? Mm. So three people. Mm. And they're all kind of moving around, whatever. You know, whatever. You can tell this girl's got both these guys on the leash, Gabe. All right? Well, were they tech students? I, don't, I, don't, I think they're high schoolers. Maybe tech students. Yeah, they don't, they don't look old enough to be a No, this is a different people than I'm talking about tonight. Oh! This, oh, this is a few oh. weeks ago, Dayton. All My right. bad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just giving an example. You. you know, this. what I'm saying is these girl, this girl had both these guys on the leash. They both wanted her. And she's just like, well, you know, playing hard to get. One week later, she's there by herself. I'll let you draw your own conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's get into the meat of tonight's Jesus. story. Okay, oh, oh we got a double date, Gabe. Double date. All right. Now we nice. first saw these characters two weeks ago on a double date. All right. We have four was characters. This the group of four high schoolers. Yes. Okay, I remember okay. these people. We have you four characters. For yeah, I, yeah. I, I was there for this one. We have purple girl, tie dye girl, skinny boy, and beard boy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they're not like men or women. They are g- girls and okay, boys. Okay, they're high schoolers. They look like high schoolers. Okay, okay. Yeah. And we we're not confirmed this, but it was weird because we, they walked in right in front of us tonight. Mm. And normally when you show up, you have to either like if you're a tech student, you show your ID to get a right. like or you uh, pay like three bucks. Or you pay three bucks. They didn't do either. They like knew the guy, and they just got vans. So I think they'd be locals, which means they'd be t- high schoolers. Most well, except probably. I know the guy. I know the guy who works at the ticket booth, and he doesn't. He, he's not from here. He's not from around here. Hmm. I don't know. There is a lot of high schoolers that go ice yeah. skating. They, they look young, so I think they're yeah. high schoolers. But anyway. Okay. So now we first saw this group two weeks ago. Right. Okay. And it was a pretty by-the-book double date. Now, what was happening was, they show up, right? And they first split into two groups, the girls and the boys. Okay? Mm-hmm. So Purple Girl and Tyler Girl were hanging out. They were just on their phones for a while, skating around on their phones. And the skinny boy and beard boy were by each other, just like twiddling their thumbs, waiting for this date to be Were they like going. in the corner? Or like... No, they were just like skating. Oh, okay, they're at least going around. Right. Yeah, so the girls were skating together on their phones, and the guys were skating together. It was like, oh, you know, we're dudes, okay? Mm-hmm. Typical stuff. Now, from this game, we can surmise that Purple Girl and Tie Dye Girl are friends, okay? All right, uh, I'm just writing for this reference, down. he's got a drawing out right now. Like, he, okay. he's Here's drawn this out. I have engineering paper because this is going to get hairy, okay? <laughs> 
We know that the girls are friends, and we know that the boys are at least friendly, okay? We don't know if they're friends or not, because maybe they're just like, hey, we're on this double date, you know, we're dudes, we're just like, whatever. They might not necessarily be friends, but they're friendly, okay? Keep this in mind as we go throughout the events that, that transpire, okay? So now, so this is two weeks ago, right? So the girls are hanging out, guys are hanging out. Then, finally get comfortable, and we get a pairing between purple girl and skinny boy, and tie-dye girl and beard boy. Okay, so yeah. two more groups. We're switching it up. So now we have a double date going between purple girl and skinny boy. Okay, they're skating next to each other, talking a lot, and we can we can surmise that perhaps they like each other. Okay, so I'm gonna write down that these these two like each other: purple girl and skinny boy. Okay. All right. Now, and uh, as I said, tidy girl was hanging out with beard boy. Okay. So, but they didn't seem as into each other. I'm saying not like, as chummy. Not as chummy. So you know, they, whatever. They're talking. Okay, they're talking. Now, things seem to be going alright on this double date. The, the first group is talking, the second group is talking. Then, I look away for a second, Gabe. All of a sudden, Beard Boy and Tiger Girl broken up, okay? They're, they're gone. Uh, you know, what, like, they what, just what? disappeared or are they like skating it by themselves? They're skating by themselves, okay? Alright. Something happened, or the, the conversation died, and I think Beard Boy, he, just, he jumped ship, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, this would be fine, except, Gabe, Tiger Girl is oh like, well... I don't want to be alone, so I'm going to go talk to my friend, Purple Girl, okay? So now we have Purple Girl, Tie-Dye Girl, and Skinny Boy in a group. Which is bad for Skinny Boy, because now he's getting cock-blocked by Tie-Dye Girl, because she's taking away part of the conversation from him, Purple Girl, So all you right? start hitting on the high schooler to help him out. <laughs> Shut up, yeah. This is, this is bigger than this, okay? <laughs> bigger than your stupid jokes. Than, yeah, all right? So Beard Boy is off sulking in a corner, because he fucked up, Okay. And now we have Skinny Boy getting cock-blocked by his poor decision-making, okay? Right. Not good. And then I think over the course of the night, they got back into group of four, and it's whatever. Night ends. Okay? No, because um, they they did get into a group of four, yeah. but you could see Beard Boy and Tie-Dye Girl avoiding each other. You're true. Yeah, Joseph is right. They were, so yeah, they were avoiding each other. So we're saying this relationship went bad, okay? Sliced. So I'm slicing it, okay? They have no- I'm saying no chemistry, okay? No chemistry between Beard Boy and Tie-Dye Girl, okay? So, All right. <laughs> as we leave the night two weeks ago, I, I'm thinking, you know, Skinny Boy and Purple Girl, well, I'm like, it's some, something going on, alright? Mm -hmm. And then Tie-Dye Girl is the friend who has to be there, and Beard Boy just got fucked, okay? As you do. Typical friend group <laughs> dynamics, okay? Sure. Now, we joined them this week, two weeks later, right? We didn't go skating last week. We don't know what happened. No, we did not. We, but we show up this week, okay? And let me tell you, Gabe, things have changed, okay? We walk in behind the group, and they seem to be in a more jovial mood. Like, they seem like, I think they've all become better friends, okay? Yeah. Some, they seem to be in a better mood, all right? Were they probably bowled a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah. probably went bowling yeah. and yeah. <laughs> other activities. And there could, you know, we missed an entire week. They could have gone last week. And we missed some That's crucial true. moments, okay? You but anyway. all the plot. Okay, but here's the thing. So we joined them. And now, Joseph didn't hear this. We're walking, I mentioned, we're walking in behind them, okay? Right. And I overhear Tide Girl in the, in the hallway talking. Did she still have a tie-dye shirt on? It was, it, was on her, <laughs> it was on her floral sweatshirt. So all she right. could still go so still girl. easily identify. Purple yes. girl was wearing the same sweatshirt, so it was easy to identify. Right. No, 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 wait. One of them was wearing a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, that's tie -dye. girl. Tie -dye. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, but it was that's like, a pretty cool sweatshirt. I, I looked at it. <laughs> it was, but it was close enough to tie-dye that, like... And purple girl was still wearing purple, so it all worked out. Anyway, we're walking in behind them in the hallway. When is this going to get good? <laughs> oh, you just wait, Gabe. It was a revelation that I saw with my own yeah, eyes. Yeah, Gabe blew this thing wide open. Okay, but we're, we're, we're going to get ahead of ourselves, okay? Right. So I'm, I'm walking behind them, and I hear Tide Girl mentioning some other guy, some third dude. She's saying, oh yeah, we were texting, and he said he would come skating, but like he didn't come, okay? Mm -hmm. So now I'm thinking we got this third player down here mm -hmm. that Tide Girl is into, okay? Which makes sense, right? If her friend's getting all buddy-buddy with Skinny Boy, she's got to find a dude for herself, okay? Mm-hmm. But your boy's just straggling. Your boy is just—he's there, man. Mm -hmm. Did right. he still show up at least? Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, we yeah. still well, same four tonight. And right, trust right. me, things happen with Beard Boy you would not expect. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we get on the ice. Okay. And now Purple Girl, for some ungodly reason, like can't get her skates on. She's on the bench being dumb. All right. But and eventually we get the group of four going. Yeah. All right. And we get back into our group of twos again. We get Purple Girl and Skinny Boy, and we get Tie Dye Girl and Beard Boy again. Okay. Things are going normal, all right? I'm watching, I'm like, things are going over Skinny Boy. I'm seeing Purple Girl break the touch barrier. She gives them little pokes on the side and the back, you know? They're all, they're all talking. 
And then again, we see Beard Boy and Tatted Girl kind of break apart. So we're getting the same kind of thing that happened two weeks ago, all right? But then things start getting weird, Gabe. Beard Boy's sitting on the bench, okay? Mm. Purple Girl shows up, starts sitting next to him and getting all chummy. All right, and we're like, okay. The one that's supposed to be with Skinny Boy. Yes. Okay. She's supposed to be Skinny Boy. She's going to chummy with Beard Boy. Okay? And now, Tida Girl and Skinny Boy are like, they're on the ice, but they're like talking to them, you know? Mm-hmm. They're like facing each other. And then, I mean, I'm skipping a little bit, but I mean, let's get into the meat of this. Dayton is skating in front of me, mm-hmm. and he sees, I mean, tell, tell me what you saw. I also Dayton. saw it. <laughs> there are two witnesses to this. Dayton, yes. tell him what you saw. All right, so I saw, I saw Skinny Boy just standing with his face towards us. He was and skating then, backwards. Sk- not only was he skating, or was he just standing? Oh there? wait, okay, no, he might sorry. have just been standing. Before this, before this, to further prove what we've seen before, Skinny Boy was skating backwards in front of Purple Girl talking to her. So they had a lot of conversations tonight. Mm. But then this happens. Yeah. So then, Skinny Boy, you know, he may have been skating backwards or he was stationary. It doesn't matter. <laughs> the the freaking gravy on the potatoes <laughs> is that tie dye girl, like Jacob said, was talking to Skinny Boy. Right. And then, right as I was about to pass him. I saw tie-dye girl grab his hips in for a hug and kissed his neck. What the fuck is going on, Gabe? Wait, tie-dye kissed Tie-dye skinny, girl skinny kissed boy. Skinny Boy. Okay. okay? So and Skinny Boy supposed to be with Purple Girl. What okay. is going on here? Now we have a new relationship for <laughs> you. We got a love triangle. <laughs> so okay. tie-dye girl's a fucking bitch is what I'm hearing. Well, She's you trying just to wait. steal Purple Girl's thunder. So tie-dye girl, yeah, she goes in and she gives a little, little hug thing. She yoinks him. Was okay? this like a kiss on the cheek, or is it like, like on the neck? On the neck. neck. So it's pretty Ooh, sensual. Okay. That's pretty. But also, meanwhile, Purple Girl is getting all buddy buddy with Beard Boy. So what is going on? Okay. I feel like they're all sexually confused. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll, we'll get to Joseph's theory in a minute. But anyway, so yeah. So then we're seeing Tida Girl be skating kind of near Skinny Boy, and then Beard Boy is skating <clears> with Purple Girl. The roles have reversed. And Beard Boy is getting super physical. He's holding Purple Girl's like arm, trying to help her out with like skating and stuff. And we're like, where did this come from? Okay, so Dude, something's beard, going beard on here. Beard Boy needs help skating himself. <laughs> <laughs> and then to top it off, Gabe, we're, we're right before we leave, we see Tie Dye Girl and Skinny Boy holding hands. Okay, what the actual fuck is going on? Okay, Skinny Boy has been all buddy buddy Purple Girl forever, and now he's holding hands with Tie Dye Girl. After she signed about some third party beforehand, what is going on? <laughs> Dude, it sounds like Tie Dye just wants to get anything and everything. But if Tie Dye Girl is friends with Purple Girl, why would she fuck her over like this? Because unless she's desperate for guys. But unless Tie Dye Girl and Skinny Boy have been dating the entire time. But why would Purple Girl and Skinny Boy be talking and Tie Dye leave? Him what alone? if? What That's if? That's what we're trying to figure out. That's what, what we're if, here to figure out, Gabe. Yeah. What if Skinny Boy? Is independently friends with Beard Boy, and Skinny Boy is dating Tie Dye Girl, but Tie Dye Girl is independently friends with Purple Girl. So then they're both like, "Hey, we both have single friends. Why don't we see like if they if they?" But that, they'll, they'll that doesn't explain why Skinny Boy is friends with, is talking to Purple Girl so much. They're they're trying they're trying to build their network of friends. Okay, uh, you're not gonna go on a double date with someone and only talk to like the person that you're going with. Like that's not the point of them. I mean, I guess, but it's still weird, right? They go on a double date. With your girlfriend and two other people, and then only talk to other people. But they spent a lot of time. Purple girl and skinny boy spent quite a bit of time together. Not they enough really to just be like get to know and like. If if skinny boy is with tie dye girl, it was a lot of time that they were skating with the other parties. Yeah, mm. and like last like, two weeks ago was really weird because beard boy was talking to anybody really like nobody like very well, you know. So I'm wondering who he's friends with. But I was telling Joseph, what is a sibling dynamic in here somewhere? What if one of these people are brother and sister? Okay? Because uh-huh. that might change things. Because what if Skinny Boy and Tie Dye Girl are dating, right? But then Beard Boy and Purple Girl are brother and sister. And they're just like holding hands. like There's like, yeah, you know, just like helping each other. But then someone explain why Purple Girl is talking to Skinny Boy so much. You know? And then Joseph... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's my theory. So there's the band Fleetwood Mac, right? And it was, I think it was two guys and two girls in this band. And they basically, they all just fucked each other. Like, <laughs> they were very, there is pretty commonly known that they just, like, had orgies. I'm thinking that's what's going on. <laughs> With high schoolers. Yeah, they're just, like, I mean, four friends. Oh, why wait till college? Right? <laughs> and they just kind of go for it. I mean, that would make sense. Fleetwood Mac theory. So, that, that's... They're all fucking each other. Wait, and... 
Uh, never mind. I have no further questions. So then, there is, so my <laughs> point is that there is no sibling dynamic, right? It, yeah. I mean, or there could be, and they're just I like, am, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I am not pushing that agenda. <laughs> but um, I just can't think of a scenario that makes sense. Okay, maybe that maybe tie dye girl and skinny boy started dating in between the two, the in between the the two skating periods. Okay, but like. Who's this third party that Tie-Dye Girl is talking about? And that still doesn't explain why Skinny Boy is talking to Purple Girl so much. Maybe Tie-Dye Girl is talking to a, a sibling as well, though, where she's like, I want my brother to come skate. That's possible. Maybe Skinny Boy and Purple Girl were friends beforehand. Yeah, I mean, it's possible to be. But why would he friends. dick over his girlfriend and by forcing her to talk to Beard Boy all the time? Because they obviously don't have chemistry together. She can't like that very much. It, maybe he, she doesn't, but he doesn't care. Mm. I mean, this is a high school relationship we're talking about. Yeah. It's not going to be super solid. I mean, we've seen it all before, haven't we? You had a high school group of friends, some guys. They all date. Some somebody. girls. Somebody starts dating and ruins the entire Dude, dynamic of everybody. We did that the first year of our college group. That's yeah. Right. <laughs> we used to have two girls in our group, and they're all gone. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, I'm baffled. All right? And what I'm saying is, if we get any more updates, I'll let you guys know. But right now, I... You're I not even going to on. skate anymore. No, I'm yeah. going to watch these people. Because, I, I mean, back to the topic, I think people watching is really fun. It is right? fun. Because I, I personally like figuring out what's going on with these dynamics. I mean, especially with, like, couples, it's like, okay, where are they at? Are they just starting to date? Are they, like, been together for a while? Mm-hmm. How are they? If it is the first date, how's it going? You know? I think we should get them on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so we you spent about 20 minutes talking about you. We <laughs> want to know. I was telling Jacob he should skate up and say... So what's the uh, what's, what's going on? Here? What's the relationship between the four of you kids? Like what? What? I'll really give you a to... beer if you tell me. <laughs> you gotta split it between the four of you. It's though. just like a PBR. It's nothing good. Bush light. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's my that's my rant for the evening. But I'm just I need answers. You know, I just don't know what's going on. I don't think you're gonna get them until you keep watching and like straight up ask them, which yeah. would be weird. I'm not going to do that. I'll ask them. <laughs> oh gosh. Ugh. But yeah, so. Where do you guys keep <laughs> <laughs> This is like your whole plan. Uh, I mean, I can talk about people watching a little bit. I guess like I like the the part that I enjoy about it is just like people in general is like figuring out how they're thinking or like yeah. how they react to things I say. I feel like sometimes I'm overly conscious about how people react to things I say. Like not just like you guys. Like there's sometimes where I say something like, oh, you guys don't want me to talk to you anymore. I'll leave you alone. Like I can, <laughs> can pick up on those things. But like just random people and like i'm still usually myself around new people which is hit or miss <laughs> like it just oh, that Lord. wasn't meant to be a tiktok reference i, I promise, hope not. I promise. <laughs> but i mean it's interesting to to see how people react to the way i act yeah. like, i enjoy that a lot because it, it can be useful in like a professional setting and like an educational setting because you can use that to your advantage. Like, oh, they think I'm being weird. I have to be more boring now, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, what I, or like, oh, they enjoyed that. Let's kick it up a notch, you know? I mean, is that kind of people watching or is that just like reading nonverbal communication? I feel like they're kind of the same though. Well, because when I think of people watching, I think of like me like eating lunch, sitting in a cafe on the street corner. Yeah, yeah. and you're just like, yeah. it. like when you're just, like seen by yourself. I mean, how like, people like, interact with each doing other, their own not necessarily with me. I guess I would still argue that it still counts because you're still looking at the nonverbals between, yeah. like someone. Like you're just directly involved. That's like yeah. the difference. Yeah, too. I got you. I when I do like other people watching, it's like what you said. Like I. I find, like, not involved in it, like, understanding the relationship between people. Mm-hmm. Like, in the dorms, it was really fun to see, like, the oh. one guy who, like, was trying so hard for the girl, and, like, the girl was just not in... Like, just stuff like that is really what interesting. What year was that? Second year. Or second year. Where Where did you live in relation to... We um, call them... <laughs> we call them the thumb. Oh! <laughs> oh yeah. It was really me, but he looked like a oh, thumb. Yeah. Like, the thumb from the kids... The Spy Kids movie... Uh, yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. He looked Thumb like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, but he... Yeah, like Oof. that type of stuff. Like being able to like... Like especially in cafeteria settings or stuff like that. Yeah. Like seeing where people are with each other. Like relationship wise, really cool. Oh, yeah. I hate watching people eat. <laughs> <laughs> that's like the that's like the worst time for me to people watch. Well, because Dayton, I, I didn't expect you to be a people watcher, but you said you do it a decent amount. I'm, 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 a, I'm a people watcher, but... I don't delve into it as deep as, as it sounds like you and Gabe do. I people watch to, one, just find humor 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just like, wow, that person is being a freaking idiot. That's hilarious. Yeah. yeah. And then also... But that goes back to our last podcast where we said if we weren't in that group... Like, if we were in that group, probably fucking hilarious. But because oh, we're not... Yeah, but. and I think, like, I, I always, like, put myself in, like, that... Right. In, like, like their perspective. I'm like, dude, if one of you guys was doing that, I would think that was freaking hilarious. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then I also people watch this to, like, keep an eye on my surroundings. Like, yeah, yeah, I like I like to just be in the know of like what's happening. Yeah, yeah. So like if I'm if I'm you know at work and like I'm eating lunch, I have to be like looking at where like people are. Like I don't like to have my back towards that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, anytime I hear a noise, I'll just like turn around and like yeah. see what's up. Yeah, I feel like I'm pretty hyper aware with my surroundings too. Yeah. yeah. That's like, why I can't work in the library. Yeah. I can't get any work done in the library because I just end up like looking over like someone walks past and just like mm-hmm. seeing and it's not who's like... coming and like what other people yeah, are Yeah, I'm doing. the same way. Like first floor I can't work in because I just look up and there's a new person. It's mm-hmm. not like it's like a danger thing. It's not like I feel like I'm in danger, but I like to know who's doing what and where everyone is, I yes. guess, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. I, I usually, I eavesdrop a lot too. You know, yeah, I I, <laughs> I I feel like that's, that's kind of a component of people watching, but I find that really interesting. This like I was eating lunch in the mob the other day, mm-hmm. and I was just <laughs> overhearing this guy was like selling to the guy's iPhone. You know, mm-hmm. I'm like yeah, that's interesting. And this guy was like acting like he knew what was going on with the iPhone. It's like dude, it's a fucking iPhone, and he's like yeah, there's no cracks in it. It's like yeah, I don't. It was it was really funny, and then, like yeah, um, I've overheard some funny conversations in the library. Between like first year girls talking about like boys and stuff. Oh, uh, it's so <laughs> cringe, listening to dude. first years first years talk is so interesting to me because you know I'm pretty sure we were in that situation. Oh, we totally. Totally. oh, oh definitely. Yeah. And but I just can't like I can't put myself in that position anymore. Yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah, back I'm to too that jaded. <laughs> <laughs> well, like just today I was, you know how people like talk on their phone like in the stairways of the library. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was leaving the my the second floor and <laughs> this girl. On the phone. I need the money, mom. And I was like, "Ooh, okay. <laughs> keep walking." This <laughs> a bad conversation. Yeah, I think <laughs> what I enjoy a lot about people watching is it kind of grounds like my like realizing that like there's a lot of things that happen throughout your day that like if you like fuck something up, let's say mm-hmm. you're like, "Oh, you have an excuse in your own head." Like you make yourself an excuse because like X or Y happened. But, like, when you see someone else do the same thing, it's like, oh, there's a piece of shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> when you, like, people watch, you, like, realize, like, they all have the same, like, little, like, things that anger them. Or, like, maybe they're having a bad day. Or, like, they yeah. have their own struggles, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, like when like, you're driving and you cut someone exactly, off. Exactly. And you're like, exa- oh, well, I have X excuse. Yeah. Or someone cuts you off and it's the same. Jackass. Yeah, this yeah. person's, like, the bane of my existence. Yeah. They it's like that, that piss me off. But, yeah. but, like, understanding, like... Being able to people watch, I feel like humanizes that element to where it's yeah. like, oh, they probably didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. I feel like sometimes people just get super pissed over like that dumb shit. But like when I like step back and like, they probably did not mean to piss me off, or like yeah. they probably didn't mean to do that because you know they might just be having a bad day, which is possible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're not all at our best all the time. Yeah. I think it's a different dynamic to being at college because for semesters we have the same schedule for fifteen yeah. weeks in a row. You see the same people on certain days of the week, and you can kind of just see if there's any changes in them or like, oh, yeah. you know, like that's a, that makes it more interesting. I feel like you kind of get a, a timeline of people over the whole semester. Right. Yeah, I feel like it doesn't really make a big difference. Like even if you're like working though, like if you're working yeah. all the time, you're yeah. gonna you're gonna notice when people are upset. What about people watching while you're driving? Cause I, I'm really bad at looking at, at other cars. See, there. I think there. Are I two, do that a lot there, too. I think there are two types of drivers out there. There are the types of drivers that will always look at the person who passes them, or if they're passing them, mm-hmm. or there are the drivers that never will look. Yeah. I'm unless, I'm unless like sorry. someone like says, "Dude, look at this person." Yeah. yeah. You know. I, I feel like look. a lot of people look. Like, I mean, I always look. So. I never look. I look more often than not. It's. I, I wouldn't say I always. Look. I'm like eight out of ten, depending on like if it's a sketchy situation. Like obviously, I'm like gonna focus on the road. Yeah, but, but if like, it's a like clear day, yeah, I'm like, not I'm in gonna a turn. I'm gonna look, and it's like, oh. There's a, it's like, oh, there's a car there yeah. kind of deal, kind of sometimes. Well, like, Joseph, if you're, like, at a stoplight and there's a person, like, ne- like in the lane next to you. Oh, I definitely look at them. Really? Yeah. Really? Okay, I don't, oh, I don't. Yeah, I'll stop and just be like, dude, so. I never do it because I'm afraid of the eye contact. I'm afraid of, like, I see you like, oh, fuck. This just embrace like, it. No, I don't, I hate that stuff, dude. I don't just because of my hometown and just, like, the type of people that are there. Like, I don't want to, 
I don't want to. Oh, look at Mr. Big Shot. His stoplights in his hometown. (laughs) (laughs) Look, I mean, I will say when I go to like Walmart or Meijer in my hometown, I like put my head down. I don't look at anyone. Dude, Walmart people watching is absolutely the best. It is, except for when I don't want to run into people that I know, like from high school. Oh, that's fair. It's like I don't want to run it. I don't want to run into people's like parents that I know Mm. because they're gonna talk. It's like I hate your kid. Like I don't want to talk to you. I guess so. I just kind of thought about this, like kind of a similar vein of people watching, but I know Dayton has a completely different philosophy, but there's people on, like people who've added me on Facebook, like in middle school, they're like, now, you know, we graduated with, and I can't bring myself to unfollow them because they're just like leading so much stupid lies, but I can't stop like looking at their content because it's so dumb like their big problems are like just stupid as shit but i can't i can't be like no this is bad to enjoy this like i have to like see what their like their biggest struggle will be like they lost their job at the gas station and i find that hilarious okay but i'm bad (laughs) person For, for them, that's like, that's huge. That's I mean, source that, of income. Yeah. You're right. I know, but I, it's just like, <laughs> I, know, like, I know, but I don't care. I, I cut back to like middle school when like, they would like say something like super petty to me, like, yeah, fuck you, gas station bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know. God. See, I just never follow people in the first place because it's like, I don't want to deal with their crap. <laughs> I don't know. I find it, inter- I mean, not everyone is like that, but I, I still enjoy like seeing. The different like styles of life people like take on after high school because it's just mm-hmm. so much different, and like I surround myself with people who are exactly the same. Obviously, like yeah. we're all mm-hmm. in college. It's interesting to see where the people like there are people who like didn't go through like college, but they're doing completely fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's also the people that are just like obviously not like it. Just high school has yeah. everybody. I deleted a lot of people off my Facebook. I should delete them, like honestly, because I there's so many people that I just don't care about I don't care all. about them but I just find they're like but like I don't even find like they're not even doing anything interesting most of the time it's like oh they're in college and just posting stupid pictures about whatever fraternity or sorority oh they're yeah in. it's yeah. like I don't I don't give a shit yeah like, I just straight up do not care about anything that this person's doing yeah I mean that's why I got rid of I want to say I got rid of like 300 people yeah. on Instagram and I got rid of like 700 people on Facebook Mm-hmm. Um, Look at you. Well, I didn't make an Instagram until like second semester yeah, of college. Yeah, that's true. But it's like I have I have a few like uh, like I'm gonna call them purebred Hamiltonians. <laughs> <laughs> it's a guilty um, pleasure, man. And they they keep up on all that stuff, and then they just fill me on fill me in with all like the juicy stuff, so I don't have to wade through the the bullshit. The bullshit. <laughs> um, but it's like. There's there's one guy in our in our group that always like calls out, calls people out like in my friend group for like making fun of people and he's like why are we doing this and it's like I can totally get why he's saying this but at the same time he's just like baiting us <laughs> to, like, to like make himself look <laughs> like more uh, yeah like more like I don't know like white knighty I guess more noble yeah more noble like yeah. to put us down it's just like. Dude, why are we doing this? I'm a good guy. Yeah. 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 And it's just like... Oh. Well, Joseph, you mentioned there's somebody you know that's like just bagging on people. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this girl I dated a while ago, we were... I don't remember what we were doing, but we were talking and like we were in like a cafeteria or something. And I kind of mentioned like, oh, you know, like I like, I like, sit, like, I like this cafeteria setting here because like I can people watch people I don't know. Because like we went right. to high school together, so like... We, I knew everyone in the cafeteria then, so, like, people watching them is different, because it's, like, now I'm just staring at someone I know. Yeah. yeah. You know? Or know of, at least. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, now it's, like, okay, these are people I don't know. Like, this is more interesting to me. Mm-hmm. And I kind of, like, brought that up to her. And she's, like, yeah, you know, I, I like people watching, too, blah, 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 and, you know, it's whatever. We were just kind of talking about it. And, um, she, like, made some shitty comment about someone. Like, look at that guy. Like, blah, blah, Aww. blah. And I was, like what <laughs> and she's like yeah like what do you think like like just something he was like kind of a neck beard and like brought it up and i was like oh don't that's me <laughs> and she's like no it's funny i'm like no that was me <laughs> and she's like that's what people watching is i'm like no it's not you're not just ragging on people no. like because i think the appeal of people watching is just 
learning about how other people lead their lives. Right. And it's kind of the same reason I like doing this podcast. I get to hear your guys' opinions on the same things that I experience, but it's like your perspective, right? Right. Mm-hmm. It's seeing other people in the same environment as you, but they're reacting differently. It's like, why is that? Mm-hmm. And I listen to a lot of, I listen to a lot of podcasts that are just like guys bullshitting. And I find that fascinating. So I'm like, what, like, yeah. how does your brain work? Like how do you're it's, also, it's like you're a fellow, different. yeah, you're a fellow human, but you're, yeah. the way you think, the way you act is completely different than me. Yeah. Like, why yeah, is that? Just, they're just different. Yeah. I think it's just, that's so interesting to me. And it's fun to pick up on people's mannerisms. Mm-hmm. Like, you can see people's mannerisms just by people watching them mm-hmm. for, like, a little bit. You can, like, see how, like, they react to certain things that, like, you probably wouldn't notice if you, like, talk to them for a little bit. But, like, sitting in the background, and, yeah. like, you I can, mean, like, see how they do things. Like, like when uh, Dayton ate a kiwi whole... <laughs> uh, in the cafeteria one time. I'm sure someone saw that and was like, what the fuck? Yeah. This kid's an animal. <laughs> That's actually a good point because like, I feel like that we never think people are watching us. Oh, yeah, but people are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, no matter what you're doing, people are. Yeah. Because, like, I mean, yeah. yeah, so as much as like, people watch it, everything think somebody's watching me. Oh, I'm sure people get enjoyment out of my mannerisms. Like, I'm just an awkward dude, like, yeah. mannerism-wise. I got it from my dad, and, like, I, they're not going to change. Like, I'm yeah. an awkward dude. I was thinking about it, like, when I was picking up a case of beer the other day. I was telling Joseph, <laughs> I, like, I just look like a fucking idiot. Like, I just picked it. It was a, it was a six-pack. I was in a case. I just picked it up stupid, and I just yeah. thought, I was like, this is not how normal people pick this up. <laughs> <laughs> it just, like, shit like that. The I'm cashier. sure there was some guy, like, looking over, like, what the fuck? This guy's probably, like, 18. <laughs> the cashier was probably, like, nice one, freshman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. probably think I'm, like, some fake or something. Well, yeah, because, like, yeah, I feel like whenever I do something stupid and I think somebody saw it, I'm just like, whatever, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm just going to go with it. You have to just go with the, like, fuck it, who cares? Because, yeah. like, at the end of the day, those mannerisms are, like, so hard-coded into, into you, like, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm going to be awkward for the rest of my fucking life. Like, just leave me the yeah. way I am. Okay, now here's the question. Is people watching creepy? No. I don't think so. You're in public. I don't think it's creepy. Unless you, like... Unless unless you you walk up or skate up to them and be like, hey, what's the situation? I don't think it's, like, creepy. Maybe you don't act on it or, like, really, like, focus on it and make a story behind it. Hey, hey. Draw it out on a piece of paper. (laughs) Discuss it on a podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Unless you don't get too involved in it. It just doesn't make any sense, Joseph. (laughs) I don't know. I think... It, if you're in creepy. if you're in public, like you're in public, like, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's not like stalking somebody. You lose your right it's to privacy. In it's public. different if you're people watching people through like a window and they're in their house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or like then, you're in the cafeteria and you watch somebody and like, you follow them or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah. that's beyond creepy. Yeah, yeah. That, that's stalker. But if you're in public, uh, you lose your right to privacy. That's just how it works. Yeah. So with with like habits, right? Or not habits, like our our weekly schedules, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we run into the same people. And let's say that, I know Michigan Tech is like pretty small and like we generally have like a pretty good handle of like who people are. Yeah. But there are always like people out there that you don't know their names. Do you come up with names for them? No. Oh, yeah. Like (laughs) them? I'm not creative enough. No. I just well, think, no, it doesn't even need to be creative. It's not even, like, a name. It's just, like, some description. Yeah. yeah. It's, like, an association with, like, their face and, like, what they... Like, no. What or, like, is. how they look yeah. or... I just think, oh, it's that girl or that guy again. Because hmm. mm-hmm. I was... So, back in high school, I used to always go to the gym with a really good friend of mine. And we'd go at the same time, you know, every day. And we'd always see the same people there. Yeah. And, you know, after a while, you get to know, like, who they are, but you never... You never either talk to them or you do talk to them and you just don't know their names. Like, you just mm. talk to them, like, in between sets or whatever. Yeah. And we've we've got a lot of names from people. Give me some of them. We've got Captain America. Because, <laughs> because one time he wore Captain America socks. <laughs> and then we got Subi Guy. Except after a while, we knew that Subi Guy's name was Luis. Mm. And Luis still actually goes to that same gym. And then we also have... Uh, Shaved armpits. Oh, there was a there was a guy. Where did he get his name? <laughs> yeah, there was a guy, like a, like a big, like muscular dude, who uh, who shaved his armpits for some reason. I don't know why. It's probably like he probably just got like chafing issues or yeah, something. So but. painful though. And then we had Nick the Dick. Nick was a uh, he was a worker, like a like a front desk worker. Yeah. And like <laughs> he was like a nice guy, but like he just comes off as such an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Like, but not like an asshole to like two people, 
Just like how he would talk. He just sounded like, like douchey. Yeah, dude, yeah, he just yeah. sounded like an asshole. And then let's see who else. Well, it's there? interesting because I feel like you only need names when you're talking to somebody else about it. Yeah. Because like I only came up with these names like Purple Girl and Tiny Girl so I could explain to you guys. But like if I didn't, if it was in my own head, I don't think I would assign names to them because I'm just like, oh, that's that person. All right. I definitely come up with like names. Like I remember I had a class. I think it was like freshman year. And I'm talking about rap star. Oh yeah. Okay. There's. <laughs> um. But no, I sat next to this girl and like I called her RBF in my head because she had a resting bitch face. <laughs> and like for the longest time, like she was just RBF to me, and I didn't know her name for until like this year. <laughs> <laughs> now I know who she is. Like, oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. And I, she was just RBF to me. So God, I, that's so funny, actually. And it's like, I never really <laughs> talked about it, but like, I was like, oh, hey, there's RBF again. <laughs> she just looked pissed all the damn time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Uh, I feel like we kind of, thinking back like to the dorms at One House, th- uh, Thermopylae. Oh, like my, my I knew home. their faces. Yeah. Right. I knew their faces, but it was just like to me they're just like all the name asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that quad. Wait, like the, the corner quad? Yeah. God, they were so obnoxious. They're so loud. And then the fucking I mean, we don't have to say the story right now, but the fucking shower scene bullshit. <sighs> oh. oh I mean please. you can tell the story if you want to. It's a funny story. It's a pretty good story. Right, I mean we, we can go we into plenty dorms. of time. That's so part of people flashback watching. to the dorms, like there was this group that so that we had houses, so we the, halls. The, yeah, halls. So they had different like names or whatever. I think that's pretty standard for yeah. names. So we were misnomer and they were Thermopylae. And at the time we were second year, so we we're like hot shots in the dorms. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have dog any first years, but they were they were first years and they were just like always loud, like no matter what time it was, mm-hmm. they they'd found be, a way. It was like super late at night yeah. sometimes they'd be loud. And, and like it'd we be complained. one, two o'clock. We weren't the only ones that complained to yeah. the RAs. They were just annoying. It was well known general. that they were obnoxious shits. So anyways, uh, one day I decided to go for a shower and like we didn't have to pay for the water so I'd just go and take like a long shower and just, you know, reflect on the day or whatever. It was like 12.30, 1 o'clock at night. I go in the shower and fucking Thermopylae's in it. And the the showers at our hall were... Um, they were community what, c- communities. Yeah, so like it was just a row of curtains. That was it. Like, you know, you, there was probably like eight showers. There were five. It, it, wasn't that, yeah, it was definitely five. There was five. <laughs> was that it? There yeah. were five showers. Oh, dude, the water. Okay, we don't need to get into that. Anyway, so I get in the shower, and uh, the other, like, three, there was, like, one that was open, so I, like, take it or whatever. And they're just being really fucking loud, and I'm just trying to relax. I'm like, what the fuck are they doing? So I'm relaxing, and I, like, hear them, like, giggling and shit. I'm like, dude, this is getting weird. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I'm going to dip, because there's a shower on, like, the other end of the hall. I'm like, yeah. I'll just fucking go there. And I was probably in for not even five minutes. Like, I was in there for, like, two minutes. It turns out the reason they were giggling is because they were pulling the curtains on their friends and, like, giggling. <laughs> so this guy pulled the curtain on me as I was, like, trying to get out. Oh. And, like, I'm naked, obviously. I'm showering. So this guy, like, looks at me, and he's just like, he's like, Oh shit! I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? I like just I said every like fucking expletive in the fucking world, <laughs> and I and he just like was stone like face like oh shit like I fucked up and like all the other guys that are in the showers went from giggling just dead silent and I'm just like swearing out the door like I grabbed my towel I didn't like put on like. We had a rule where you had to like put on your underwear before your towels. You just walk out naked. You're like, I just walk. I put the towel <laughs> on. Dick swinging. And I like fucking walk into the yard. I'm like this motherfucker. Like he walked in. Like he, you know whatever. Yeah. And he's like, all right, I'll talk to him, Bob. <laughs> and, like, I got, like they got a little slap on the wrist. And then from that day forward, I never showered in that one. I went down the hall. They also like. <laughs> Were a lot quieter after that. Point. Oh yeah, <laughs> they definitely. I uh, why. They toned down. They I think it was more down. than a slap on the wrist. Because like, but yeah, you, you can pull some sexual abuse or some mm. some form of that. Yeah. And Her- like harassment. harassment. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. See, because like it's one thing. It's one thing if it's like, like in, a, in even... a private place yeah. and like you're doing that to your friends. Like, like if we walked into the bathrooms here, yeah, yeah, like, at our house, and I just walked in the bathroom while Dayton showering, like 
It'd be weird. Okay, but would you pull a curtain on him? Like, I don't know. I feel like maybe, it's a little maybe, weird. Maybe, maybe, maybe if I had like a squirt gun filled with ice water. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if Justin came like started taking a shit while Dave's in the shower and then he just gets okay, out and yeah. like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. It's just but like, it's a public it, restroom. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the big difference. And like, to me, me, that's not even that, that funny. Like, there was no prank to it. Just like, haha, I can see your dick. It'd, I'm be, like, it'd be funnier if they loaded their hands up with soap. <laughs> and then, like, slammed it over top of the like, stall. Yeah, yeah. We used to throw shampoo bottles over the, the showers at each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's other stupid shit, but, like... It just, it just screams of just high school... Yeah, it was very... People. They were very immature people. It's Fun chaos. fact, I was an OTL for one of those guys. Dude. in that group. Why didn't you fucking get him expelled? Does his name start with a B? Yes. Ah, yes. Yes. I am familiar with him. Hopefully... I mean, they're in, what, their third year at this point? Yeah. Hopefully yeah. they're not children... I mean the guy, the guy with the, the guy that we know, his yeah. voice is really, kind of kind of irritates me. Yeah, I mean, me he's way. he's a nice enough guy, but I could totally see him pulling that stuff because he's kind of a goon. But it's whatever. Yeah. So we can move on to that, our. Yeah, that was my side tangent. <laughs> we can move on to our second topic. Uh, we're at forty minutes, but let's talk about. Uh, let's change pace here. Talk about some books. All books. right. Now books. I don't know about you guys, but ever since probably junior year of high school, the year of the book, I just stopped reading for fun. Cause I'm just was either like too busy with school, I was just, I would just do other stuff like watch TV or play video games. But I just like kind of stopped reading uh, for pleasure or whatever. So I'm curious on like what are you guys is like if you've been reading at all recently, and also what are some of like your your go to books? I suppose. Yeah. Been reading my semiconductors book. A <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm kind of in the same vein where like I used to the like my main source of entertainment as a kid was reading the books. Yeah. Like just reading books. I read so many and I had like the first Kindle with like the full keyboard. You guys oh remember those? yeah. My mom had one yeah. of those. I used to just read all the time and like the ones I remember the most were probably like the Percy Jackson books and oh, American yeah. Children. I, I love I the read Percy the Jackson first. Series. I went through all the Harry Potters. Like the last one came out in like sixth grade for us, so I finished those. Mm-hmm. Like that type of stuff. I just like blew through books, but like as you said, as like Video games and TV, like, it just was, like, more easily digestible. Yeah. And I just, like, I don't know, like, I found it more entertaining, I guess. Yeah. But I just read a book. Wow. Three, yeah, it's crazy. For Pleasure. Three week, two weeks ago? Two weeks ago? I don't know. You slammed through it. Yeah, I destroyed it in, like, three days. It was about three days. Um, and that was the book I referenced in the music uh, yeah. podcast. Mm-hmm. Whereas the, I got it for my birthday, and it was the story of, like, this album, but, like, in more detail. And holy shit, books are cool. (laughs) Like, I forgot how, like, fun it is for pleasure because I just kind of associated books with, like, chapter two, the network, you know, use it. Like, it's just all very technical information. Yeah. But, like, actually reading it, I feel like it challenged my imagination a lot, too, because, like, I used to have a really cool imagination. I feel like now I'm older, it's just shit. Yeah. But, like, like, reading the descriptions and then, like, me, like, trying to, like, paint that picture in my head for, for like, the first time in, like, you know, like, eight years or, or however long it's been, almost ten years probably, was really interesting. I, like, really enjoyed the book a lot. Like, yeah. it was, there was points where it's like, this is all I want to do. And that hasn't happened in a long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I get really into a book when I start reading it, but I have a hard time getting a new book. So, like, I got a Kindle for Christmas probably, like, my second year of college, I think. So, like, not too long ago. And I immediately bought, like, two books on it. You know, just, like, just, like, something that sounded interesting. Mm -hmm. And I burned through the first one. Just, like, complete, like, read it in, like, days. Mm -hmm. Like, it was a good-sized book. And it's like, I had other shit going on. But, like, every, any free time I had, I would just burn through it. it on the book. And then, like, the second one, I, like, got halfway through it, and then, like, I had to go back to school. So, it's, like, a lot, it was a lot harder for me to sit down to read it. Mm -hmm. Um, I still haven't finished it, to be honest. (laughs) Um, Which I'm kind of pissed about, because it was, it was, I mean, it was Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. So, like, a classic, you know, sci-fi book. I guess it's kind of sci-fi. Wait, was the book, was the movie based off a book? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, it was based off a book. Yeah, some, I yeah. honestly didn't. Yeah. Books in your room, like you had like Dune and stuff. Yeah, I Dune's read, a good one. I read Dune over the summer because I was really I bored. To read that at some point. I bought it like a year before, but I never. I have a hard time where like, if I'm gonna read, 
I want to sit down and say, okay, I'm going to read for a while. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's not, I don't want to read for like... I have a hard time to stop. 10 minutes. You yeah. know, it's like, if I have 10 minutes, like, I can sit on my phone, I can do any number of things. If I want to read, I want it to be at least half an hour. Yeah. So I can like actually get through it and like mm-hmm. digest some stuff of it. Mm-hmm. So that was really hard up until the summer. I had a lot of free time this summer. But yeah, Dune is like an 800 page book. I think it's more than that. Well, no, it's about 800 pages. I don't know. I had it on a PDF. Like, like, like an e- e- e-book, so. Yeah. I think, I think my copy is about 800 pages and like, boy, that's a long read. But I, it I finished so it. It's so fascinating though. It's, it's a fantastic it's book. Yeah. It's uh, great. I don't it, it, it's probably it one takes, of the, It takes a while because they have a lot of, guy. It's a lot, a lot of, of vocab. Yeah. A lot of vocab, a lot of names. And a lot of world building. Mm, yeah. okay. But when it gets going, holy shit. It was like, the first like maybe 100 pages, it was like, what the fuck are mm. these people talking about? Right. Like, you're just like, because it's, it's like other planets, and it's like thousands of years in the future. Right. And so it's like, there's the, it's all a bunch of houses. It's kind of Game of Thronesy. And so it's like, there's this house, and they're kind of related to these and people. And it's made up words because it's a sci-fi. Yeah, movie. and like there's shit like there. It is loosely based off of Islam, though. Is really? it really? Yeah. Like, huh. is it? I can see that. Suppose like is it supposed to be like a reflection of the religion? Or what? I don't. I don't think so. I think that he it, just like a retell- or is he just like a was loose he, retelling of the story? Or mm-hmm. is he like? I thought it was like practice Mad Max or like just resource that's like everybody wants. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. There is that except. There's a lot. Know, it's, gonna, I would have to look it up to. It's very it is, religion based. Like part of it is in a way of religious. Like, they believe like he's in... kind of a prophet. Like the main character is yeah. a prophet. Okay. A prophet. Yeah. I mean, you could argue that with like Star Wars though too. Yeah. Like Star Wars is like a like yeah, the but forces a religion. Yeah, but it it'd be like in Star Wars if Anakin was like the Jesus or the Muhammad. He's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, I know, but but if people but no one like worshipped him. Right. Like, yeah, I understand. And in it, people start worshiping him. Okay. And not, not only is he a religious figure, but he becomes a political figure and like a military figure. Okay. So like, there's politics, war, and religion all in this, and it's like. There's a lot going on. There is so much, and it's it was really good. And then I was really disappointed because I bought the second book. And it's like 200 pages long. <laughs> really? Yeah. It, and so you go from this massive, just fantastic well, I mean, book. Yeah. yeah. And it, and it's like the second one is just really short, which like isn't like I haven't gotten through all of it yet, mm-hmm. just because I came back to school. But I, I think I'm like halfway through it. And so, it's like still good. Fun fact: but the guy who directed. Um, Blade Runner 2049 and Arrival, mm-hmm. uh, Denny Villeneuve is making a Dune movie right now, and I am Is it a movie? Excited. I thought it was a TV show. I'm pretty sure it's a movie. They already have a Dune movie. I think they're making... I heard they're making a TV show on, like, Amazon or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pr- Maybe you might be right. I know he's doing on it, though, and I fucking love him. Okay. If he treats it how he did Blade Runner 2049 with that kind of, like... Yeah. Those, like, Respect. long shots and, like, world building, I think it'd be really good, but I need to read Dune. Alright. I've got a hot take. I've been thinking about it. Give it to me. Right. I think that the reason I stopped with books, and this is like very general, is I think like lately I've only pretty much been playing video games that are multiplayer or like I can play with people. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate that aspect more than like the game. Like I played PUBG for too long, yeah. Yeah. but I just kept playing it because it allowed me to play with like my Your friends. friends. Yeah. And like I valued that more than the game itself. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if like, because books are a very solitary. Multiplayer books. Yeah, yeah. Books are book a very club, solitary. Yeah. Join a book club. Yeah, but that's like <laughs> disgusting. You know, like that's after you know you're finishing it, or like after you finish a chapter or whatever. Yeah. I, I feel like this is like directly related. And I feel yeah. Like, I, I wonder if like subconsciously I just associate like I mean TV. You can't even argue like that's not even that's a solitary experience. Even if you're like sitting in a couple rooms, like the most you get is like people going like what like yeah. when a plot yeah. twist happens, but like. You're playing a game like you're directly. Like, we're, we're playing Smash Bros. in the house. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's like oh, you know, you whooped my ass or I whooped your ass. Like there's a direct like I enjoy that social aspect of it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if I like stopped with the books because it was such a it was just a solitary experience. Yeah. I get that. I I think I stopped reading just because it was easier to just go on my phone. Yeah. Really it's sad, also way you know? more easily to digest mm-hmm. or just try Netflix in TV or shows. And I do feel like you can. I I get a lot out of watching TV shows. I try to you know kind of dive into them but I, I do miss reading like 
like you were saying, some of my favorite books when I was growing up were the Percy Jackson series. Dude, that was fantastic. I've read series. that series like three or four times. Like I, when, sometimes when I go home because it's on the shelf there, I also like pick it up and read it again because it's, it's just a good so book. good. Dude, the last one was, oh, I remember that one so much. Um, the last also, one. the Ranger's Apprentice series. Have you guys read that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I actually have it on my to-do list because I read that in middle school and I want to read it again. It is so good. You guys All ever right. read uh, American Chillers? Mm-hmm. Michigan and Chillers? Dude, I've, I I've met the author. Me too. Uh, yeah. He has a shop in Mackinac. It's not. It's a uh, Indian just River. Before. Indian yeah. River. Yeah. I don't do he well. With scary. Chiller mania. <laughs> scary media. Yeah. It's not scary at all. Like it's yeah, it really it's a isn't. children's horror. Yeah. Okay. But when that when I was within that, that demographic, it was I think the scariest cool. one was the the Mall of America one. Because like I had a Mall of America. There was like one. Uh, there was like one scene where like this kid was getting turned into a mannequin, and I was like, "That's fucking terrifying!" Like, can you imagine just becoming a statue? Like, oh, maybe, maybe I have read that one. Though. That one. Was Did you guys read uh, *Gregor the Overlander*? No, mm-hmm. that's a good one. Or uh, the Alex Rider series. Yeah, I read a all couple those. of those. I never yeah. read. I read part of one of them. I read a lot. I read *Ender's Game*. Those are really good books. I watched that movie. Dude, I <laughs> the hated movie is Ender's Game. Re- like the book? Yes. And I don't, really the reason I hated it was because I felt like the side plot with like his brother and like the girl or whatever yeah. was just really weird. And I just didn't like the way it was written. And like, okay. the ending was super weird with like the aliens at the yeah. end. I was like, what is going like, well, I like the, the first tw- book was weird. I like the twist, but I like the very, very end. When he like goes like to the home world and gets, like, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is it, going on? The, here? the oh, book is bizarre. That. But if you read the series, he becomes like this religious prophet, and like, like then like people start colonizing like other worlds. Yeah. And like, there's this whole like religious thing, but also I don't remember how much I don't know how much you remember of it. Do you remember the character Bean, like one of his friends in the school? No. Like this, there's a really. short kid. Okay. Anyway, he becomes a military figure on Earth. Okay. And so he has a like a parallel series that like uh, like what his experience the first was? book is like his experience through Ender's Game like mm. through that book there's one written from his perspective and then like Ender like he travels and like by the time he's done traveling like his brother's like in his seventies or something yeah so then the side characters book his series completes before that point yeah. So, like, and he's, because st- he stays on Earth, and, like, there's this huge war and shit that happens. Mm-hmm. And so it's, there's one half that's, like, kind of sci-fi-y and, like, uh, religious, and the other side that, or I guess more philosophical than it is religious. Um, and then the other side that's more, like, militaristic and, like, uh, maneuvering. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was really cool how they, it's, like, the same world and, like, these two completely different, like, series, but, like, the it's... same timeline. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah, I think the reason I didn't like it, because it was hard for me to, like, imagine everything that was going on, because yeah. it was kind of a lot, but... Yeah. I guess, recently, my second year, I read, um, the first two Witcher books, because I like the game a ton, so I read the couple of first couple books, and that was really good. I never got the next one, but I should. And then I started reading, actually, comic books for the first time. Um, I'm, I'm really into, like, superheroes and stuff. I've never actually read comics. So I got all of um, the Batman New 52 run, okay. which was fantastic. Like Comic yeah. books are expensive. Yeah, I just got like the collected editions. Which I think yeah, really yeah those albums are way cheaper. Yeah. Or whatever and, they call uh, Wow, like honestly, I was blown away. It was such good storytelling. And um, I finally read Watchmen. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Which, which is still novel. sitting on my desk. I yeah. Gotta burn through that. That book is, the first time you read it, you won't understand everything. Like you need to read it at least twice. Because there's a lot of um, parallel like foreshadowing kind of okay. parallel storytelling that's really mm. kind of hard to grasp but it's a really good story and I read I read a lot of like the Batman graphic novels not just like the comics like the actual like longer mm-hmm. um, stories I enjoyed those a lot um, and those are a little bit easier to digest and they go a lot faster right. but they're almost a little too fast you know where it's like I can read that in like one night where it's kind of like oh no I don't have anything no, to do, I have nothing to do. Mm-hmm. dude I'm but, a sucker for good stories I, uh, I, w- I used to be really into The Walking Dead I mean I still enjoy it I just haven't watched it in a while Mm-hmm. So I got the first like compendium, which is like the first like fifty oh, ish reading through that. Uh not uh like comic books. And I read that in like less than a week and I immediately bought the next two. Yeah. <laughs> and um yeah, they were really good. Yeah. Like I really enjoyed reading those. And like I haven't touched them since. Mm-hmm. So like I have these three massive comic books just like <laughs> in my like in my room at home. Yeah. Um but I think it's mm-hmm. it's interesting how 
because like obviously books came before tv shows and whatnot but how that translates into different mediums because like not all video games have good stories but there are some that are just like they still stick with you like holy shit that was awesome god of war (laughs) yeah like god of war like i'm thinking bioshock infinite still has a lasting impression god the twist is so that ending just like what the actual fuck is going on but like just being able to translate something from just like writing something to being able to express it because you're you're they're expressing it from their view right like yeah i mean with the technology limit at the time but like they're still like this was their vision like this was their like when you read a book like if you and me like read the same book and we like read some description we're gonna view it differently in our heads yeah but like with like tv shows and movies and video games like that's the way they meant for you to see it yeah to think it's interesting yeah i think the hardest sorry the hardest issue with books is discoverability because oh yeah there's so many fucking books well because like if we want to show you turn on netflix and they have like recommended or featured or like for video games you go into like steam and like okay what's like popping off right now you find the tags you want like if you want a story game you find a story exactly i feel like it's really the reason i haven't gotten into books recently is because it's hard to find a book that you actually want to read you know, and I find myself just wanting to go back and read the books I when I was a kid. Those are like, you know, the teen fiction books, and they're not like yeah. difficult at all. They're just kind of just like comfort food, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm kind of like scared to like try to find a new book. So I don't even know what I would want to go for. Like my my dad reads a lot, and he reads a lot of like the, uh, like military. Like you have like your Mitch Rap character. You my know, my dad, like, my uh, dad likes yeah. those. Too. Like the Tom Clancy's. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like I just, that is the male version of soap operas. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, like, I've read some of them. They're good. Oh, it's I'm just, sure they are. I don't Dude, know. My dad eats those Tom Clancy books. Yeah. <laughs> like he is that what we have to look forward to? <laughs> he <laughs> loves those books, and it's like I just don't know where to look. And maybe I I'm just not looking hard enough. You know, I'm sure there's some curated lists out there and stuff. But I mean, do I, I don't know, like should I like fantasy or sci-fi or whatever, like classics. Yeah. I'm um, sure Amazon's got pretty good at it at this point. Goodreads, yeah. Goodreads.com is pretty good. Also, Reddit yeah. has some pretty good suggestions. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. Um, but yeah, I, I've read, I bounce around with genres. Like I've read, um, you know, like mysteries I've read, mm-hmm. fantasy, Hardy I've Boys. read, <laughs> no, not Hardy Boys. <laughs> I've read like, I've read pretty much like every single, what was that series with the um, dog that was a detective? Air Hank bug. the Cow Dog? Hank the Cow Dog! Dude, I love <laughs> those books so much! <laughs> no, those are so good. Okay, sorry, dude. I was like, right away that thought, I needed to figure um, it out. But yeah, I mean, for me, it's like, I... I just want a book that will make me think. Like, I don't really... I don't know. Because I have, like, this weird dichotomy of, like, television and movies, like, visual media versus, like, reading media. Yeah. And, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people have, like, get up on, like, their high horse where they think that reading is, like, better than, like, TV. Yeah. And it's like, you guys, like, no. I don't watch TV and I don't watch movies. Like... Yeah. I, in... I don't know. You missed out on Spider Man. Awesome. Oh, if you I haven't seen, I don't even Spider-Man know how to explain yet, this thought that I have. Yeah. So it is, you, it are you really... a high horser? No. No, 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 <laughs> no, not in the slightest. No, I'm saying that. that it just really irritates me because I feel like there's both really complex and then both really easy to digest of sections both. of those in both sections. Yeah. So you can have like you know shows like Modern Family, Friends, you know Big Bang Theory, where you're literally just sitting there. There's no brain activity going on between yeah. your ears, and you're just brain dead. Yeah. Or you can have <laughs> the like, kind some... of show you can sit on your phone and watch. Yeah. yeah. Or you know you can have like the, the visual World. media. Yeah, like Westworld, Ooh. Mr. Robot, uh, like Inception, like movies. Yeah. Where they're very stimulating. Or yeah. you know like Jacob was talking about with uh, with like the seventh grade books, like middle school books, where they're very easy to digest. Like and, rom-coms or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, you get enjoyment out of them, sure, yeah. but it doesn't really force you to think about anything else. Yeah. And I like the books that make me think about something else. Like, I think two years ago, maybe just a year ago, I read Flowers for Algernon. Oh, oh yeah. gosh. I read that in That book's school. so and sad. <laughs> yeah, I read that in high school. Yeah, I, I wasn't forced to read it in high school. So, like, I was like, oh, hey, like, I've heard good things about this I book. I like, cried during I'm that. just going to read it. And, wow. Like, if you aren't a very empathetic person... That book will make you empathetic. Oh yeah, yes. like yeah. it will literally put you on your knees. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, have you guys read? Uh, read Kite? Read? God damn it, Kite, Kite Runner? Runner? No, Jesus Christ, you will ball your eyes out. That book yeah. is so. In, I've like, heard it's I think really it, going back to like what it's Dave so was good. Saying, like, I feel like it, it matters with like. There's times where it's like, 
I want to sit down and watch Mr. Robot or like Game of Thrones even like has like a level of like I mean obviously there's like some stuff where it's just like oh they're just like fighting and fucking but there's like a, yeah. there's parts where they're like you know they're like really focusing on like a strategy or there's whatever. a lot of military there's a lot of and like, political tactics. right there's a lot of that stuff too. which like I really enjoy so it, it depends on like my mood there's sometimes there's like oh I'll just fucking watch you know like the office because yeah. like i'm just making lunch i don't oh, you care are, you watch the office i watched it once <laughs> <laughs> it's okay <laughs> you liked it more than i do game. but i don't think it okay i don't think it's fantastic like everyone yeah. else says i think yeah. it's a good show but yeah. at least like everyone's fucking you know jerking it off dude, dude yeah. you're gonna catch some flack for saying that <laughs> yeah That's, i don't anyway you're saying. <laughs> my point is there's points where i'm like i'm just making lunch i'll laugh at some office you know yeah mm-hmm. but there's other times it's like oh I want to watch Mr. Robot and try and figure out what's going on. I feel like a fucking idiot the whole way through. Do I feel like some shows go too far with that? Yeah. Like, they're, like, almost... They're complicated to, like, prove that they're, like... Special. Special. Yeah. Like, there's a joke about that in BoJack where it's, like, uh, for Filbert, you know? And it's, like, if you don't understand it, and like, it's fine because that means I'm a genius or some shit like that, you know? It's oh, like, yeah. It, I feel like some shows are just there are some complicated shows that, like, for the sake yeah. of being complicated. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure. But I, I, they're... There, there's always a balance, though, right? Yeah. Like, there's always a balance of something that, like, challenges you as, like, a viewer or, like, a reader to, like, try and figure something out where it still keeps you interested because you're, like, you want to figure it out, but it still keeps it, like, the carrot's just a little too far away, you know, yeah. where you're, like, I'm close, I'm about to figure this out, and then, mm-hmm. like, they explain it to you just as, like, you're about to, like, as it's coming together, you know? What are your thoughts on nonfiction? Because I personally do not enjoy reading nonfiction. I I'm want to get into person. it. I used, like, to, I used to be really into nonfiction when I was a kid. Was I used it like to, sciencey stuff or history? Or? Uh, so, sciencey. I used to read encyclopedias. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Dude, are you, talking about the, are you talking about the ones that like you had to find the letter to the thing you're interested in? No, like these were these weren't like uh, like school encyclopedia sets. They were like these these books. I don't. Know, my mom probably still has them, but they just. They gave, like, a brief overview of just, like, a ton of different, like, science concepts. Yeah. And... Oh, Zoo Kids? Zoo Kids. <laughs> I, I remember I reading Zoo what it was. I honestly think they were sold by, like, a door-to-door salesman. <laughs> oh, wow. but, I had some of those. But honestly, I used to, I used to read those all the time. When and I, I never really read fiction when I was, like, super young. Hmm. I only read those nonfiction books. When yeah. I was in middle school, I got a subscription to National Geographic. And, like, some of the stuff over for, like totally went over a middle schooler's head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But a lot of it, I found it really interesting. I'd always we read. We used to get National I'd at least read an article or two of them every month. Yeah. Like, I just find that stuff. Like, I love science and I love history. Like, at the time, I'm not as interested in it as I am now. Mm-hmm. Or, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, but that stuff's interesting, but I feel like... I don't know, when you're looking for, like, a story, those, like, made-up ones are just, I don't know, I just feel like they, they do a better job, because they can, they direct the story, you know? Yeah. I feel like, too, when I look for stories and books, I'm more of an escapist, you know? Right. I, mm-hmm. I'm trying to, like, yeah, just kind of, I like think, escape into a story as opposed to, like, right. learning something. I want to get into, like, autobiographies. Like, yeah. Yeah. And, like, just biographies in general. I want to, because, like... I don't know, I, I was hanging out with one of my friends over the summer, and he's like, oh, this is, it was like the some book that uh, the CEO of Nike wrote, and it's like, oh, I heard great things about this, like, I want to read it, and I looked at it, and I was like, at the at that point, it's like, that didn't sound interesting, like, some dude who makes shoes, like, come on. Yeah. But it's like, <laughs> that's actually, it sounds like a really interesting book, mm-hmm. you know, like, what is what does he have to say about you know and I don't even know like mm-hmm. if it was a biography or like what it actually was about but like mm-hmm. yeah you know that just kind of made it was like that's the point where it like made me think like okay mm-hmm. now I, I and I don't even know like I haven't done anything about it but like I want to <laughs> I want to get into it like yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I will I will say I think the cool thing about nonfiction is like you know as you're reading it that it's real I think yeah. there's a lot of things and just I like to like I've said before on the podcast like I like understanding how like people like where they've been or like where they've come from because a lot of it the times it's like completely not on purpose like people's lives get changed by like the stupidest shit like they decide to like i mean it's all coincidence but like they'll decide to like go to this place instead of this place and they meet Mm -hmm. this person it changes their lives Mm -hmm. like just stuff like that i find fascinating like even like history like some of the things that we have now would not have existed if someone didn't make some dumb mistake or like didn't do yeah. look at one thing. I, I agree in the in the fact that I think that like what happened in real, like real life 
can oftentimes be a lot weirder than fiction can. Yeah. Because it's not limited by your own creativity. Right. It's literally limited by just pure the chaos. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the randomness of the world. Like we, were, like, we were listening to Dan Carlin's uh, podcast, The Hardcore History. Yeah. And they're, like, basically how the Archduke Franz Ferdinand's got shot was literally just pure chance. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, he just happened to be at the same deli as Franz, like, the assassinator. So that's what sparked World War One. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For for people who may not know, the these people were trying to assassinate this guy, and he showed up for a sandwich. And no, well, they fucked it up essentially. Yeah, they botched yeah. it. And so the, one of the guys is like, "Fuck it, I know the sandwich shop makes some dope ass sandwiches. I'm gonna go get me some lunch. I'm tired. Mm-hmm. Done for the day. Goes to get the sandwich." Walks out and the guy that they were trying to assassinate is just driving. No, right no, no, no. The car, the car stalled. Oh yeah, the car broke down like right in front of the sandwich shop, and the guy's like, "Huh?" Bam! Shoots him. Yeah. Like sandwich in hand. <laughs> and shoots him, and I think he shot the wife too or something. Didn't yeah, he I kill himself remember. like in a gutter after that or something? He like, tried. Some cyanide pellet. He tried, except the cyanide. I oh, no, that was a different. A different one, one of them guy. didn't work, but the one yeah. guy who yeah. killed him actually died, right? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't suicide. remember. But yeah, so that's that's why we had the Great War. Yeah, but like that stuff is so fascinating to me because like, if you believe in parallel universes, there are millions where that never happened. Like you can get the sandwich or whatever. Like that yeah. that one little thing has changed history. Like even the population of the world. Like it's the butterfly effect, right? Yeah. Like if you kill someone, they can't have kids. So like the population's completely like vastly different. Yeah. Like the way that we see wars is vastly different. And well, too, mm-hmm. and like it. Germany wouldn't have been in debt. They wouldn't have had World yeah, War exactly. II. Like World War I stuff. directly caused World War right, II. Right, exactly. More yeah. or less. All of that stuff. Is I don't know what directly, weird. but like it definitely. And you know, World War I wouldn't have happened if, you know, the guy who assassinated Franz Ferdinand wasn't people watching. Yeah. <laughs> he was just people watching. Yeah. And, and that's what it go. comes down to. <laughs> a nice way to end the podcast, I feel like. <laughs> um, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, well, we're going to post pretty much all break. I think we're going to record a lot of episodes this week so we can post uh, over winter break. Um, so look out for that. Well, this will come out up during winter break. Yeah, this will come out the first week. So just you know, keep on listening. So we're, we're not taking a break. If you want to we'll get away from your, from your family, you know, just... You know, sneak away, listen to us. Snuggle up. <laughs> listen to us say fuck. Yeah. Crack a beer with us. Yeah. Follow us at EWF Podcast. If you have any theories on the ice skating conspiracy and what might be going on. We more. want to know your thoughts. Cause you know, we need some ideas here because we're baffled. <laughs> we, we need some outside opinions. And some of your, if you have any book recommendations, let yeah. us know. Um, yeah, thanks for listening. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye. See ya.